What's up people, Mighty Lubu here, back with some more Shadowers. Now here I have an epic game, it's gonna be up against Control Force. This match was insane, this guy had all the answers, so much removal, good lord. Uh, but um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop those likes and hit that subscribe button. Uh, the channel has been growing little by little, which is pretty cool. But um, the idea, this match, this guy, I mean, we even drove ramp early on, so we kind of struggle. It was a little hard to stabilize. <laughs> Uh, you know, having at least some type of pressure on them, because usually having like the your two drops, they can help remove some of those fairies in the early game. But geez, we didn't have really anything. Stars are so gorgeous. And the starry elf or starry elf, whatever you want to call her. So that means he gets water brambles. That card is so good. <laughs> on the bright side, we do have Sybil, so we could get uh, ramp. Hey, uh, let's play. You know. At least hey, somewhat. One ramp is better than no ramp. Alright, so here we go. I could have went to the Elder Tur Turtles here, but... I like to keep it in the hand. Especially since I like to combo the, the oh, Turtles with uh, Azi the Haka. That way that can reduce his cost. Plus, I didn't want to waste an evolution. It's part of my game plan. Just make sure to get Azi the Haka and then start using the evolution. But of course, here we do need it. I mean, it's a four-five. That, that is a pretty threatening card. To make the world blue. Please Unavoidable. Love me. So we get the ramp. At least we have Canyon of the Dragon, and that card just puts out a lot of May pressure. Alright, so he's flooding the board. All must come to an end. Let's play. Hey, that's about it. He doesn't have play. much pressure. He's just going for card draw, being laid back, chill. But hey, uh, we're Ramp Dragon. If you're gonna let us go into the late game, we appreciate that. <laughs> the stars pale. All right, Cassiopeia, number one, removes my dragon. I'm like, no way, my poor dragon. So here, I always want to looking for AOE. So if we draw any AOE, it's pretty good for us, and we do. We top deck a Wrath Drake. It's pretty good. To witness my true oh, so here comes the dragon army. And we power up Azi the Haka. So he's at 9 now, so which is pretty good. The combo is to have Dragoon Scyther at Azi the Haka. Because that way we can just push for damage regardless of what he does. But he removes everything. He clears my entire board. I'm like, okay, okay. He has no pressure though, so we can still do the same play again. Just drop an amulet. Here comes the dragons. Alright. That's 10 10 worth of stats. Uh oh. One of them is going bye bye. I know that for sure. And. The demon dress. No! My dragons! He removes everything. And he has more fuel. Look at this. He just put three cards in his hand. This guy is sick. Alright, so I know next turn he can play Jungle Warden. So I want to put up as much pressure as possible. And this is the best way I can do it. I can't play too passive. So here we go. We have the board back again. Drop the big monsters. Oh my goodness. Cassiopeia again. I'm like, okay, what is he doing? What? Is, what? is that rain? My I'm board! Now. Is this why I have no friends? now I'm gonna lose my entire board again. I tell you, control forest is insane. Alright, so here my only play. Hold on, is it my only play? No. We just dropped the frenzy Drake. Exactly Remove his board. Now we have even more dragons. His Your board is clear. I'm like, okay, he can't do it again, hey, right? I mean, he clears my this board again. This guy is the king of it's games over of here. My sight. Here, I don't know. Why did he just bring back Aaron? I mean, he could have brought him another ward. Could have been pretty useful. There's a lot more where that came from. Right. We're gonna go for damage here. Kind of pressure him down with the Stop. seven sevens. Into the face we go. What? He still has more answers. Cassiopeia. Enough! 
with this <laughs> Cassiopeia. He has cleared over 30 30 worth of stats. It means 30 attack and 30 defense from all the Drakes, from all the dragons. So, okay, we, we have to go for Lito. Into the face we go. We gotta set it up. And it's the jungle warden. Good thing it was an error in there because that would have been pretty scary. If he had healed, but we have Lito. The Dragoon Scyther's coming in clutch. I mean, we had it in the hand for the longest, but you know, having her in the hand was pretty helpful. And into the face we go. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this crazy epic match against Control Forest. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace. I'm out. Whoa, I almost forgot to add the deck list to the video, so here we go. Lovely editing here. Um, so yeah, this is what the deck list looked like. I've, I've used it before, so you guys have seen it. It's uh, not much different. Uh, the same thing applies for the other video. I don't want to rely too much on Worm of the Skies, but I want to have it as a tech card just in case. And we do have Ozzy. And the whole point of having Elder Tortoise in the deck is so that you can do a combination of like Dragoon Scyther and Ozzy the Haka on the same turn. That way you can push for damage, which is pretty good. So sometimes there, you could, do get the chance of playing Worm of the Skies, Dragoon Scyther into Ozzy the Haka. That way you can clear a ward or you can just hit the opponent for, what is this? It's going to be 12 and this is going to be, what, 16 total? Yeah, yeah, you have 16 bursts of damage, so you're ever able to, you know, the game goes long enough. It doesn't really happen too often, but once in a while, it does get scary. Plus, Worm of the Sky is just a pretty good card, just you don't want to rely too much on it. And we have massive amount of AoE. We have Wrath Drake for AoE. We have uh, this Force of the Dragon Newt for AoE. The Frenzy Drake. So, you know, you're covered. Uh, should your opponent try to swarm the board. Really the weak, big weaknesses to this deck is that it doesn't have a lot of wards. Uh, the only big wards we play is Zeus. And uh, yeah, if you don't really feel comfortable with Zeus, you could put a third copy of Ozzy so that you can work on your combo a little better. That way you can always have a, a Ozzy the Haka to buff. But um, yeah, this is all I can say about the deck. And hopefully you guys enjoy this dragon list. And see you guys on the next. Peace. I'm out.